All right, hey everybody, Professor Klein back here. And I'm down low today because we're talking about the knee. So here's the knee on the skeleton and I've actually put on the four different major knee ligaments. So let's go through these and learn the knee. All right, first off, let's look at this model here and with this model, we can see a few different things. We've got the quadriceps muscles coming down, all four of them here around the femur, coming into what's called the quadriceps tendon. This is the quadriceps tendon right here. Underneath it would be the patella. We got the patella deep down in there. See if you can see the patella. That's right underneath here. And then it becomes the patellar tendon also called the patellar ligament which eventually attaches to the tibial tuberosity this bony landmark right here on the tibia now we also have the fibula much narrow bone here but what are the ligaments well we've got the lateral collateral ligament also called the fibular collateral ligament and that's going from the fibula from the femur. On the other side, we've got femur to tibia, the medial collateral ligament. This one's also called the tibial collateral ligament. Now collateral means they're on the sides. So these are on the sides of these bones. But deep within the knee, and if I zoom in real close here, you can see these We've got two cruciate ligaments. Cruciate is crisscross, and you can see they almost crisscross each other. But there's one that really looks like it's more posterior, and it attaches posteriorly on the tibia. That's the PCL, the posterior cruciate ligament. Now, the other one deep down in there is the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament and they crisscross as they come down to here. What else can you see? Well, here's the lateral meniscus and the medial meniscus right here. Cushions for the femurs coming down and you can see the femoral condyles, medial and lateral. We've got some of the gastrocnemius muscle that would be coming over the knee joint. Even the popliteus muscle is shown right here, these two parts would be the popliteus muscle. So don't get distracted by these red marks here. We're really focused on the knee ligaments for this model. All right, I'm gonna bring the knee into it here that I made with pipe cleaners and rubber bands. This is showing the knee ligaments, but in a different way. You can really see deep into the knee as well. So first off, the orange one here, I'm gonna turn it to the medial side. The orange one is the M. C, L, I'm gonna turn it all the way to the other side. The red one, the red one is the LCL. And if you look deep in the knee here, let me move it over this way. Let me turn it around and show you the posterior side because you can see that black pipe cleaner. That's the P, C, L right there, crisscrossing the ACL. The yellow rubber band is coming more from the anterior side. So let me flip it anteriorly and let me just bend the knee so that you can see where these ligaments would be attaching. Now, let's talk about what movements of the knee do these ligaments resist? That's really their main job, right? Is to resist movements and prevent you from doing things your body wasn't designed to do. Now, if I hold this one up here and if I bend the knee inward like this, we call this a valgus knee position. This is what valgus is right here. Valgus is your knee going in and your toes, foot going out. They call that being knock knee. Now everybody can do that. And oftentimes you're hit or you land awkwardly and your knee just dips inward now if it happens excessively see how this mcl is being stretched 
the valgus knee position will stretch the MCL. And we can see that really clearly here. If I go into valgus position, we can see this orange one really being stretched. Let's see if we can stretch it a ton here. There it goes. That is the MCL being stretched in a valgus knee position. Let's go the other way with it and let's go into what we call a varus knee position here. I'm gonna bend it as much as possible. There you can go. You can see the LCL being stretched in a varus knee position. So what's that look like on the skeleton? Well, LCL is the red one. Let me get it out to the side here. LCL is the red one. So if you do a varus knee position, you would be stretching and potentially tearing, there it goes, tearing the LCL in a various knee position. We got two more to go, but I'm curious if you've ever torn any of your knee ligaments. If so, in the chat, let me know if you've ever torn the ACL, the PCL, MCL, or LCL, or any of the other ones in the knee uh, area. And while you're at it, Give me a like in this video and subscribe if you're not subscribing as well. I greatly appreciate that. But back to the knee ligaments here and we're to the posterior side. Look at, let's look at that PCL right now, the black one here, the PCL. Now this one's gonna do something a little bit different. This one's gonna resist what we call posterior displacement of the tibia and anterior displacement of the femur. That means the femur is going this way and the tibia is going this way. So you got to hold down here, hold up here, and I'm going to pull it posteriorly like that. From this view, it would be like going that way. Now, when would that happen? Maybe a slide tackle from the front, a car accident, anything like that might cause it. But let's look at it really clearly on here. Now on here, you can see the black rubber band. I'm gonna posteriorly displace it. Here we go. It's going back, it's going back and boom. You see that black pipe cleaner get ripped off? That is the posterior cruciate ligament being torn. And lastly, we've got the ACL again, hard to see on this model, but it's deep down in there. It's the opposite of the PCL. So it's going to be anterior displacement of the tibia, posterior displacement of the femur. So that would look like this. It's really not gonna move much because the ligaments are really good on that model. But on here, let's take a look. Let's look in see that yellow rubber band i'm gonna anterior displace the tibia and there it goes it's getting stretched with the anterior displacement of the tibia posterior displacement of the femur now what else could affect this well take a look in here if i let me go this way here if i twist twist the tibia laterally and the femur medially, that is also going to rip some things up. So rotations can cause issues as well. Well, all right. Hopefully that helped you learn the knee ligaments as well as learn the function and the cause behind ACL tears, PCL tears, all the other tears and help you prevent it in the future. I'm Professor Klein. This is the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.